A gift? A boy said when he noticed a present with his name near his father's grave. The teenager came to the graveyard to tell his father how awful his life was, unaware that the gift would change his life forever. Lucas, dinner's ready. Called Lucas's grandmother from the dining table. The 14-year-old sat in his room, lost in thoughts of his lay father. He had been just nine when his mother delivered the devastating news of his father's passing. The memory of her horror-stricken eyes and tearful reaction upon seeing his father's lifeless form remained vivid in Lucas's mind. His father had tragically lost his life in a car accident on his way home from work. Lucas never had the chance to bid his hero a final farewell. The loss shattered him deeply. And even after five years, the pain lingered, seeming insurmountable. Living with his mother and grandmother, the two pillars of support in his life, Lucas often heard them say his father was watching over him with a smile. Yet, Lucas felt nothing could fill the void left by his father's absence. I miss you so much, Dad. Lucas cried, holding his father's photo in his hands. The boy was ready to do anything to hug his father one last time and tell him how much he loved him. One day, Lucas was at school when his teacher asked everyone to write about what they wanted to be in the future and read their essay out loud. Lucas and his classmates began writing, and once everyone finished, the teacher asked them to share it with the class individually. When it was Lucas's turn, he was excited to tell everyone about his future profession, unaware that his classmates would laugh at him. I want to be the next school president. Lucas read the first sentence of his essay and looked at his classmates. After I finish college, I want to work as a lawyer like my father used to. He is my inspiration, Lucas continued. Lucas smiled after reading his essay, but his cheeks flushed red when he saw his classmates laugh. After class, the students mocked Lucas and made fun of him because they knew his father had passed away. You want to become a lawyer like your father? One student laughed, but wasn't he, like, poor or something? Careful what you wish for. Lucas as a school president? What a joke. Another student mocked Lucas. Everyone knew Lucas was shy, so they thought he couldn't become the school president or a lawyer. They laughed at him during recess while Lucas cried helplessly. I shouldn't have written the truth in my essay. Lucas thought after he returned home. He felt terrible after his classmates humiliated him. Lucas regretted sharing his aspirations with everyone. Later that evening, Lucas told his mother and grandmother what had happened at school. Why did they make fun of me, mom? He asked his mother. I just told them my father is my biggest inspiration. Oh, darling, don't let other people's words ruin your peace of mind. His mother hugged him. You don't need to pay attention to what they say. Yes, honey, your mother is right, his grandmother added. People will say all kinds of things about you, but you know nothing they say is true. Lucas burst into tears and confessed that he missed his father. Why did he leave us so soon? Why isn't he here when I need him the most? He asked. Lucas's mother and grandmother felt terrible for the little boy, but they could do nothing to bring his father back. However, they knew how to cheer him up. Okay, Lucas, I have an idea. His mother exclaimed, Why don't you visit your father's grave tomorrow and tell him how you feel? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Lucas's grandmother cheered. The following day, Lucas visited his father's grave after school. He saw a gift beside the gravestone when he knelt in front of it. What is this? He wondered and picked it up. A gift for my son on his 18th birthday. Read the message on top of the gift box. Lucas quickly unwrapped the gift and was surprised to see a videotape inside it. Is this from dad? He mumbled to himself. I'll watch it when I go home. Before leaving for home, Lucas sat by his father's grave and told him how much he missed him every day. I wish you were here, Dad. All my classmates bullied me because I told them I wanted to be like you. The teenager said, I wish you were alive so they could see that you were the best lawyer. Lucas wiped his tears. I don't know why you left me, Dad. I miss you so much. After reaching home, Lucas inserted the videotape into the player. He thought it was strange that he got his 18th birthday gift well before time, but he didn't mind having it and wanted to know what the video was about. Once the video began, Lucas couldn't control his emotions. Tears rolled down his cheeks after watching his father on the TV screen. Hey, young man, happy 18th birthday, his father said. In the video, Lucas's father said his legal agency now belonged to Lucas. You're the bravest, smart, and most brilliant boy I have ever met, his father said. 
I think you can take care of my agency now. Your father's right, Lucas. The teenager's mother entered the living room and wrapped her arms around him. Your grandma and I decided you should hear your father's message before your 18th birthday. Thank you, mom. Lucas rested his head on her shoulder. I knew your father's words would make you feel better. Lucas's mother smiled. That day, Lucas understood that his father's wisdom and character would endure within him despite his physical absence. Encouraged by his father's message, the teenager resolved to disregard his classmates' taunts. Empowered by this newfound confidence, Lucas surprised everyone by becoming the school president just three months later, silencing those who had doubted him. He continued to work diligently and eventually graduated as a skilled lawyer. Taking over his father's practice, Lucas swiftly established himself as one of the top lawyers in town. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments section. If you like this story, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.